Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going over my DraftKings and FanDuel Monday Night Showdown picks between the Dallas Cowboys and the New York Giants. Uh, we have a divisional rivalry of the NFC East. Hopefully, we get a good game. We got a 2-0 team. The Giants have squeezed out a couple of close wins against the Cowboys, who um, got a nice win last week against the Bengals, which they needed. Now, we're going into week number three. Hope you guys had a good day yesterday. We got some very high scores with guys going absolutely off, like Matt Collins. We had him. Unfortunately, also had Justin Jefferson, who did absolutely nothing, had four fantasy points. Did not think he'd be the lowest guy in my lineup. Well, David Montgomery was, who got one fantasy point, but missed out on the main slates. FanDuel early saw some money. The afternoon slates cashed. Um, DraftKings hit in the afternoon slate cashed in both formats. FanDuel cashed in double ups on the prime, and then the showdown slate we hit in double ups on both sides. So got some money back. Just still trying to figure out the main slates and getting the pieces together. Um, but hopefully played Matt Collins. It was just the superstars and the running backs were kind of tough this week. Going into tonight's game, as always, if you enjoy the videos, appreciate the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for the support you guys have been showing. You know, let's have a good day tonight on the showdown slate. We have the Giants who are dealing with some injuries at wide receiver, especially looking at their snap counts for week number two. We had David Sills played 92% of snaps. He outplayed, outsnapped. Uh, Sterling Shepard by a few. He outsnapped uh, Richie James by a lot. And Kadaris Tony is doubtful. Um, and then Galladay is who knows what's going on with him. He's probably on his way out. He only got two snaps last week. And um, they're dealing with injuries. Tony's doubtful. And Robinson's been ruled out. So looking at the Giants right off the bat, like Sills is uh, 5K. He looks like a great value just for a guy that's going to be playing a lot of snaps. And you know, should be a, it's a good matchup against the Cowboys. As long as the Giants should be able to move the ball a little bit, especially on the ground, they can still get some things done in the air. Giants are at home, so we'll see. I'm not too worried about them, about some of these Giants receivers, but definitely Seals just based on the value looks pretty appealing. If we look at uh, Shepard, also at 76, looks decent. Gallup is questionable; he might make his return, but he's missed a lot of time. That he'll probably be eased into action. I don't have too much confidence that they'll rush him. Uh, but a guy on the Cowboys who has been playing well and has kind of earned a lot of snaps has been Noah Brown. They haven't even been activating their third-round pick because of how good Brown's been playing. Uh, he played 85% of snaps. Uh, and then Dennis Houston played 34. But if Gallup plays, you know, I think Gallup will take like the uh, Houston and Turpin's snaps and probably play like 40 to 50% right in his first game back. So I don't have much interest in him in a DFS perspective. But if we look at like Noah Brown, 68, still is somebody that I, I don't mind getting to, especially with Schultz being banged up a bit. He's still questionable. Uh, if he's not able to play, then Ferguson, who is $200, would be a nice option. But keep an eye on that. Uh, it'll only be viable if we know that Dalton Schultz is not playing. And then the Dallas Cowboys running backs are also you know, kind of always a fluid situation even though he only played 40 percent of snaps last week 39 tony pollard had a great game zeke played 67 but he did nothing as he has been doing lately so they're both pretty similarly priced i would lean to still like pollard i guess but i don't think i need to get to either one i'd rather just get up to uh, barkley as like the main pay of cd lamb if i could and then the values would be like sills and richie james uh, the kickers look pretty appealing. Both offenses might struggle a little bit, and we got two kickers with some good legs. Could see both guys get attempts of over 50 yards, and both guys have already hit over 53 yarders this year. And then the Giants' tight ends. We'll look at the, uh, the snap counts for for those players. Last week, especially with how thin they are at wide receiver, we could see some of these tight ends be involved. Bellinger played 58, and Hudson played 37. So... Bellinger is $4,400. Hudson is $1,600. He got a couple of grabs last week. But looking at some lineup builds, we'll do one with probably one of the most obvious captain plays of the day would be Saquon Barkley. 17-7 there. You know, probably want to get you at least one of the two quarterbacks, I'd say. Like Jones being a little bit cheaper. 200 bucks gives you some rushing upside. Uh, he looks pretty appealing to me to put in there. Go with some values like Noah Brown is 68 but we'll see if we start by putting in like David Sills here put in one of the kickers Brett Maher 
6800 bucks. What we're left with, if we do put in Noah Brown, we're not going to have, we're going to have exactly like 69. So this one we could put in um, Dalton Schultz if he's able to play. So that's one build to look at. We can flip-flop the captains. That'll give us a little bit more flexibility. Put in the quarterback, Jones, that captain, still looking to get to um, Saquon Barkley for sure. And we have Maher and Noah Brown from the Cowboys side. You could go down to Graham Gano here at 4K, and then you can be able to get up to Pollard at 82 if you wanted to. Pollard has been involved in the receiving game as well. Seven targets last week, and he's been playing really well. I think it's a matter of time before they kind of give him the more snaps and kind of do like an even timeshare between him and Zeke. It's just all the money that they paid Zeke. They got to give him some snaps. Uh, but... I, I don't think the split will be like 67 to 33 very often if Zeke continues to play like he's been. That's one build. We can do another one with like Sterling Shepard at captain at 11-4. He's going to be involved in the passing game. Or we can even do one with like David Sills at captain just to see if we can get to all the expensive guys. Get to Barkley, get to CeeDee Lamb, get to Jones, 55, put in... You know, possibly even Richie James will put in like Noah Brown at 68. And now we have $4,300 put in Brett Maher. And this one also looks pretty appealing. Look to get to um, wide receiver, running back, and quarterback on the Giants side. And then on the Cowboys side, you get to the two of the wide receivers that will be most involved. And then you get to a kicker in Maher as well. Last week, Cooper Rush played decent. It doesn't give you much rushing upside, but... Um, Still think he looks like a viable play, just like Daniel Jones a little bit better. You know, might give you more mobility, and they're at home. So that's kind of where I'm going. If I can get to CeeDee Lamb, great. He's pretty expensive, but he's going to be targeted heavily. I think it's probably due for a touchdown this year. So, you know, looking at a captain spot, if I'm going cheap, it might be for, like, David Sills here. Or possibly you can look to, like, a defense if you wanted to, the Giants defense possibly. But in terms of core plays, um, Barkley is definitely going to be a core piece from the Giants side. Whether you put him in at captain or not, it's going to be totally up to you and your lineup build. But I'm looking to get to like Daniel Jones as well. Uh, looking to get to probably Noah Brown, one of my favorites from the Dallas guys, just because he's pretty affordable. And then you know, even I like captain, we can put in like a David Sills or somebody that's pretty cheap. Something like that. Toy around with it, but he should get some targets just with how thin they are, and the price tag is really good if he's going to play like 80-plus percent of snaps once again. So that's what I got for DraftKings. Let's uh, take a look at FanDuel. All right, on FanDuel, Jones is your most expensive guy. He's at 15 k but personally, Bar I think Barkley is going to be the highest score on the slate, so start with him at captain. We have, we have a $1,000 difference between Jones and Cooper Rush, so it's a little bit different on DraftKings. You have Jones cheaper. So that 1000 might make a difference, but C.D. Lamb is cheaper than both guys, so I like him. Uh, talking about our guy Sills, he's 5K, or he's 7K on um, FanDuel, so he looks very appealing if you want to get to a value. Noah Brown is 8K. Now, we'll have a lot of money left over if we do something like that, so we don't really need to. Uh, but we can maybe put in, like, Shepard. Now we have 14K to put in, like, Cooper Rush. Something like this looks pretty appealing. Uh, I think Sills at 7K is going to be... Pretty tough to pass on just with the price tag being very cheap and compared to like Richie James, who's thirty five hundred dollars more. Um, definitely looks a guy like a, a guy that I will try to get to more. We could put in Pollard instead of Shepard. That'll le leave us with fifteen hundred dollars uh, to spend, and that's where we can upgrade from Cooper Rush to Daniel Jones, something like that. You're still getting to probably a three two is what I'm looking at. I think the Giants will win this game, so focus a little bit more on the Giants if I'm. Doing the 3 2 split. But core plays Barkley, probably CD Lamb, and Sills on Fandle is where I'm at, just based on the price tags. But you know, that's what I got. Might be a bit of a low scoring showdown today. So the kickers are also viable on Fandle. Even the defenses like Maher and Gano, both guys similarly priced. Just depends on if you want to do like a 3 2 or a 4 1. Don't really have, you know, kind of like a. I got kicker that I would just lock in on, split some lineups between both if you are making a lot. Uh, just depends on who else is in your lineup, I'd say. But that's about it for me. Thank you for watching. Best of luck, and I'll see you all next time.